This is not going to go full screen, I don't think. If we you act like a little dickhead and do that kind okay. of shit to me, if we look at the cameras, if, if, if we look at the cameras and you come in at 8:30, what's gonna happen? I came in at 8:29. You did not say the the our system you're, you're, to you're, our system our fault. Okay, so. I'm gonna stop it and will I actually will I watch this? I watch the whole oh, through. I walked out at eight and then we'll stop and pause this. I came out to finish all the customers and you walked out. You we told you we were closed. You had us wait in line. You we can't lock yes, customers yes, in. We physically can't. But we were all busy. The line was all the way at the end. There's a sign on the door that says exactly what time we open. Exactly what time. You came at eight thirty on the dollar because still like it's one like it's one fucking minute. Yeah, but we want to go home. That's fine. But this we is because if we let you in, we let everybody in. Great. We let you he in at 8.30 on the dock. my daughter, who is four years old, And you want to do this shit for the motherfucking fucking army? I don't give a fuck about your fuck, you dumb bitch. You want to do this shit? You want to do this shit? You want to do this shit? Like, this is crazy. You guys can leave. Thank you, Thank you for gifting subs, Mark. All right. Thank you for subbing, Matthew. You want him? Excuse you. Excuse you. You want him? You're the only guy that we have here. You're a grown ass man. You're serious? You already fucking offended me. Excuse you. You can leave, sir. We can really call the cops. You're going to threaten a kid? A He's minor. A, child. a minor. You're going to get fired. You're I'm gonna not going anywhere. Nobody's going to get fired. You're not Give going anywhere. That's fine. What are your names? Okay. So we're going to start again. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on this whole thing. Get the fucking hat off my fucking... <laughs> Um, okay, so first of all, when, you, when we open up the video, like right, it. he is pointing really aggressively and he's filming already. So he's filming as well, um, which makes you go, okay, like the filming is either an act of an aggression or an act of defense. I really feel like when there's an altercation, there's no reason you would film it other than for those two things. You're either... Um, doing it to defend yourself so you have proof of what happened or you're doing it to be aggressive and to add to your aggression um, which look might be a base take but it's my base take um, this crap thing is absolutely driving me nuts anyway half me's gone <laughs> it's fine <laughs> don't need that half <laughs> <laughs> Might as well make myself fucking bigger. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I just think the fact that he's filming is a bit sus in the first place. Then he's pointing his hands really aggressively. So, like, obviously, this is part two. So, they said the part two has been reposted from this person. This person has made their um, account private. And seems to maybe have deleted all their videos. I requested to follow them, but I don't know if they have to accept me. It does say that I'm following them. So maybe they've actually just deleted all the, the videos. Um, but uh, this is only part two, if you know what I mean. So we don't see the build up to it. But what I will say is straight off the bat. And do that kind okay. of shit to me. If we look at the camera. Sir. Straight off the bat, he's like, you're refusing me service. And she said, you came in at half eight. And we close at half eight. And he said, no, we, we came in at 8.29. Sorry, but there is no fucking difference to me. Oh, thank you for gifting, Greg. 100% hype train. Hell yeah. Welcome, Cabri. Thank you for resubscribing as well. But if you... Uh, if you come in at 8.29 and closing is at 8.30, get fucked. Welcome, Pips. First time chat. Welcome, Lynn. First time chat. Um, but basically, yeah, he came in at 8.29. And so through the course of the video, a couple of things that were said that I think is really important, right? First of all, that he was waiting in line. And she said something along the lines of, I can't lock customers in. So I think his concern, he, he was saying, like, I was already in line in the shop. And she was going, yes, well, we can't lock the shop to stop more people joining the line. But you we're in after close or whatever and he was saying no I was in a minute before close uh, which to me is like the same thing it's like it would be super annoying if you're trying to work let me see if I can close these curtains does that help with my stupid crap filter not working properly or oh, maybe if I turn the lights up oh yeah the lights are really low maybe that's the problem totally blown out here um, but yeah, so like he came in at 8.29 and then joined a queue. 
mm-hmm. and then got to the front and they refused him service. I totally think they're in the right to do that because like he got there at 8.29. It doesn't take a minute to queue and order and for them to make it. Like that's just impossible. So I think they're actually in the, in, the, in the right to refuse him service when he got up to the top because by the time he got up to the top, as you can see on the... On the timestamp, I think it's like it, it's to me, twenty to. If you look at the cameras and you come in at eight thirty. What's gonna happen? I came in at eight twenty nine. Well, maybe or uh, maybe the podcast was watching had a different angle phone. or something. But they said it was eight forty two by the time this video was taken. So it's like, yeah, I'm a hundred percent on the side of the workers here, to be honest. Um, and then also he's like, they're like, yeah, well, it's our daughter's birthday. <laughs> If it's your daughter's birthday, plan better. Like, if it's your daughter's birthday and it's that important that she get this particular ice cream, don't land down at a minute to close. Like, by the way, half eight in the evening, her birthday's essentially over. So, like, why didn't you just come in earlier? You know? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Um, And then to get, like, super, super aggressive like that and get it and be like, pointing and filming and like that person I would say I would say just wanted a fight and like was looking for a reason to have an argument um and got one but I I don't blame the workers for like shouting back at him I always think that in that kind of scenario I would love to be like super calm I would love to be just like telling the I'd love to be the manager and I'd love to think I'd be super calm and be like oh you know the rest of you just keep going go back and clean and I'll handle this and I would just be standing there going yes sir we're closed yes sir we're closed but I know for a fact that wouldn't be that like if, if I was in that situation I'd be like no you fucking do it <laughs> get the fuck out <laughs> um but yeah fuck this guy is essentially what I'm getting at I think um I was just watching the history podcast where they were talking about it and they were kind of saying like if you come in a minute before close you still have to be served fuck that noise if you come in at a minute before close and there's a queue tough shit because you're not going to get up to the front you're not going to order before close so go somewhere else 100% in the wrong that guy couldn't be more in the wrong yeah so I love love on the history podcast because he was like what the fuck (laughs) I was like oh the European voice of reason it's so different isn't it it's like like there's a real entitlement um not everywhere in America but like it seems like some people have this real entitlement of like I am in a business this business has to serve me and it's like no they don't and like it's funny because the very same people who would like get mad about this would be this people being like, um, religious businesses have a right not to make a cake for pride. And it's like, pick a lane, you know what I mean? Like, one or the other. Um, yeah. Uh, private business has the right, as far as I'm aware, has the right to refuse service for any reason outside of le- ones that are legally defined as discrimination. That's my, that's my understanding. And I could be wrong. Maybe they're allowed. Maybe they're allowed to discriminate. I don't know. Um, but I know that they're allowed to say, you don't get service. Tough shit. I'm in Texas. Oh, no. I didn't say Texas, did I? Um, or is this in Texas? We have a few Texans, Texans in the chat. I, oh, level two hype train emote. Hell Yes. Um. Yeah, where's is this Texas? I walked out at eight thirty because listen, I'm making ice cream. Listen, I came out to finish all the customers and you, you walked out. Lot. I love when people are arguing. They go, listen, 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 and it's like you're, you're not you listening. So why, why should you I listen? You had us wait in line. You had us wait in line. Yeah, you see, but like that's how shops work. So, like. We can't lock customers in. We can't lock customers in. Like, so she's saying, yeah, you walked into a shop and you joined a line. But, like, what? we actually can't stop you doing that. But you didn't get up to the counter in time to order. That's totally fair. Oh, we have a spam bot. Do we have any mods in the chat? Or, like, try and get rid of this. Um, ban. 
<coughs> oh, sorry, I have to go forward slash, isn't it? Forward slash ban. This person. Did that work? Yeah, hell yeah. Jeez, we have a few in Texas, do we? Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Um, I'm dying to see we keep breaking records. Earliest 100 degree day was Saturday. Earliest 100 degree day. As in earliest in the year or earliest in the day that it happened. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because I was like... Wait, can I get the door just like you were? But we were all busy. The line was all the way in. There's a sign on the door that says exactly... Okay, so hang on a second. So it says originally, right, that the video was from this person whose username is Summer Panda Tihi. And but it says here, look, there's two different KK Play the Music. So this is a screen record of KK Play the Musics. KK Play the Music. Maybe they have part one, do they? Oh, it's gone. If for you to act like a little dickhead and do that kind okay. of shit to me, if we look at the camera, you, service to me. you know what's like really troubling about that video is the fact like the man is getting so upset over ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. And top it off, like the man was hyper fixated on on the the minor. Well. The minor um kid, I'm assuming he's 18 or 17, and he just getting upset, like making threats. And I saw the part one to the video, and he over here just being aggressive and yelling and stuff like that, and saying like stop yelling at me, even though literally the woman was talking in a calm uh, tone. I want to see part one. It's frustrating. Look how many people are stitching this. Holy moly. I can't imagine anyone is on his side, like. 8.30, we're gonna have it. I came in at 8.20. I thought you could walk in here. You did not start our system our phone. I hate when people do goofy ass shit like this, cause bitch, if we close at 8.30, I don't know why you thought you could walk in here at 8.29 and expect five star top tier service. All the ice cream is put up in the back, you know? Like, People need to stop walking into fucking restaurants, any establishment. If the I think she's gone. right. Like, this comment here, you're not closed if it's 829. You're still supposed to serve the customer GTFO. If the customer orders before 830, which he didn't because he was in a queue until 842 or whatever when the, this fight is happening. So, like, he just has no leg to stand on. But also, come in 10 minutes earlier. You know what I'm saying? Come in 10 minutes earlier. And that happened on my TikTok profile, no, nothing. Can't play the music. Jaffa cakes or biscuits. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. 